Hello and welcome back to the Replay Studio. We're here with another episode of The Witcher. Um, on to episode 4 of the second season. Uh, last time on The Witcher. Um, more monsters, which I love, of course. Um, it says that that has been my favorite thing about this season so far. Um, more monsters. Um, we encounter this centipede-like creature that appears to have been... Um, it seems to have had some link to the lesson from the previous episode. I'm not sure what the connection is. Um, but they both appear to have been lured um, by Siri or they're being drawn to her. Um, I, I imagine we'll explore that a bit more later. Uh, yeah, so things have gotten quite interesting. She's finally begun her training to become a Witcher-esque. Um, no, uh, a, a Witcher, but not quite the Witcher. And as, as I've said before, I do wish, I do hope that I, I don't think Siri needs to be a witcher herself but i do hope that um perhaps in following seasons and so on we are introduced to a female witcher because i don't see why not um uh, outside of that we return to Artuza and all the political machinations that we've come to expect from um, um season one well from season one onwards um at the moment between Stregobor and Vilgaforce trying to assume control um, of Artuza and um, to say uh, trying to work with Vilgaforce to make a to make a play for for leadership um, yeah in the in their own way um, Yennefer has returned of course unfortunately without her abilities and um, towards the end you know she's given the agenda to prove that she's not a spy by um, killing the dude from the white flame i forget his name but I, I i i was frustrated at the end of the episode because of the position i felt she is put to say in um her hesitation to kill the prisoner and, and some some people have said okay she killed um she killed men on the on the battlefield which is war so it's different she doesn't want to be a murderer by just killing this guy but i mean Sentences are things that are carried out in this, you know, this kind of world all the time. He's he's essentially guilty of wiping out an entire city of people and killing them. More than likely, he's going to be executed to death. So, um, you know, whether she does it or not, I, I, I'm frustrated with her. Even if she didn't want to do it, I don't gather why she, want, why she saved him and made herself look like a traitor. You know, so um, it, my love for Jennifer is 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 it's, it's complex. It's complicated. It's complicated because I want to see her succeed, but um, the, she keeps putting herself in 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 positions and then, you know, trying to and then has to figure out a way how to get out of them. And it always ends up that the people who are trying to help her the most are the ones who always end up hurt. You know, um. History for all his flaws in the previous episode um, was trying to help her, and same thing last season as well. Um, and then, you know she and she discarded him, and then she she ended up in a far worse position. Um, she wanted um, to look beautiful and to go to the kingdom of her choosing. She ended up going to the kingdom that she wanted, and that ended up being a nightmare. She spent what I think she said three decades there, and she ended up being a a chambermaid to the queen who the king later tried to assassinate so um yeah she keeps making the choices and then ends up in these situations and then you know she gets frustrated that she's in fact in the situation of her own making um but you know i'm, I'm curious I'm, I'm i'm curious to see how she improves <laughs> um as, as the, the series goes along I imagine once she get, gets in uh, once she meets siri and um um you know reunites with Geralt, things will change a bit for her or she'll see her future in a different light. It's as history has said to her and I think Tessia said the same thing in the last episode. It doesn't matter how much power she obtains um, it's never going to fill that void that she's actually looking for. So um, yeah, can't wait to see that um, that reunion with, um, with Geralt and finally meeting Siri. That should be interesting. Alright guys, episode 4. Let's check it out. Yeah, just don't die. 
hesitation it's not as though you have like several that. witchers to rely on here she's just the, the one that you have to can't afford to lose her what if it's the wrong path girls Oh, ah, so close. Well, it's not going to be easy. Oh, Tris. Where go? Oh, yeah. Why is she headed to Care more? I mean, I assume to see a girl. But considering what has happened to her. I must. Happen to see Tris, regardless. Uh, she seems to have been going through something, at, you know, the scars that she got from the battle. Um, when you go, you must be quite charitable. But what are you doing here? I'm happy to see her, but I'm just wondering why is she here? I bought dinner. And the guest. More than that. A child. What surprise? Hey. Vesemir knows her? Yeah, they met for the first time last season, her and Gerald, so I'm a bit confused by this. I get I mean I I gathered some time had already passed since his meeting with Tris and I I'm guessing she has visited Kermorhen over those years. I just wish I had seen a lot of that. And and that was one of my complaints for the first season. You know, I felt like we missed quite a bit, especially with him and Yennefer. But I didn't realize it, you know, it also happened with Triss as well. So I wanted to see that, writers. I wanted to see that. All right, so she's working with him now. I can only assume she hopes to get her powers back through this alliance somehow. Don't make new memories. Yes. I didn't forget about you. They were trying to help to say I was trying to help you. Ah still frustrated with her. Oh well, she did this on her own. I, 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 I can't feel any sort of way about them doing this now. Yeah, you helped him escape. It's a we I will not live in fear, nor would we ask you to. We only want to serve Redania as best we can. The hell? Oh, Dijkstra. What's happening? Okay. Interesting casting choice for Dijkstra. Poison, I'm assuming. I'm curious to see Dixter working for a nobleman. Why did Nilfgaard go to all the trouble of taking the continent's crown jewel? I have to give it back. Only to fill it with hungry mouths. Yeah, speaking of which, I'm starving, Dijkstra. Get to the point. Sentra is the point. Make a move for, for Sentra. Interesting. If there's anything I've learned is that Dijkstra always has a hidden motive. So he's he's he only helps himself. So I question his his devotion to the king here. So, there also to save his life. He found himself in my kingdom a time ago. Let me show you how much he's. I actually know this place pretty well. Hmm. Gerald told me what Trace had done for him. I invited her here. I wish I had seen it. Riders, I wish I had seen it. Come on, you little rat. I'll put a few rounds of snaps on you before bed. Maybe. Might even let you win. Yeah, <laughs> you wish. See, I like Cohen. He's how I expected. I, I don't know. 
thought you could get away. I guess he noticed. And she has no magic to speak of. He must have figured that he must have figured this out by now. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no choice. Make a move Apparently not. and lose your head. Are these elves that are hiding or No, they're not. Uh, he's right. <laughs> okay, they are elves. I wouldn't trust him or Yennefer at this point in time, you know, unfortunately. I want to trust her. I love her. I want to trust her. But she keeps making bad decisions. <laughs> Damn it, Damien. Because I think as this white flame guy, as soon as he gets there, he'll just kill those two and take their space on the boat. <laughs> uh, you're too trusting that man. You're gonna get yourself and your pal killed. All right. So this means that if her mother did have his destiny with if she was Cirilla. And Queen Calanthe, the whole ordeal took place after he he left Triss. So I'm trying to figure out how Triss fell into it, how he and her had so much history before that event happened. How much time passed between and then this those two events. Towered in half and charged us. God. What is it? I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> or a witcher. Uh, to be fair, no, I guess she showed up the the right time. If there is any sign of Lucy to make it out to me, and the mage has been involved, that component will glow. On by morning. I don't know. Power of foresight thing could be useful. Stay with me tonight. Triss. Only stay. I, I do hope they don't paint Triss the same way that they do in the novels. I, I know she's supposed to be pining after Geralt and all of that. But who he's destined to be with Yennefer. To be honest, in the games, I've never chosen Yennefer before. I've, I usually just go with Triss. Unless, you know, maybe I, just for the heck of doing a, another playthrough or something to see what happens. Um, but even if they do go that, that, they take that approach, at least have Triss find some meaning elsewhere. I, don't, I, I hate the whole love triangle thing, so I, I don't want them to focus too much on that. I think yeah, Triss deserves better, Trial. you know? North have been claiming that we're all sleeper agents for Northyard. Sounds familiar. No more doubt that. Yeah, I doubt that very much. They didn't make their mess. You made your mess, Yen. I'm sorry, but you kind of did. Yeah, I know. Except that whatever this North. thing is in the sewers is just going to kill these two before they get to the boat. Back turned. Hopeful. Just waiting for the thing to take him. Yep. Yep. That was much. It took the goddamn light. No, he's gone. Oh, not good. She has no magic. Did 
Did they even know their way? <laughs> the elves left them. And the power didn't turn to ash. You did it. <laughs> they use forbidden magic. I, and I'm assuming that's the consequence of it. So, I mean, I figure she's going to get it back somehow. Come on. What do you know? I had to save myself. You know what? What's going on? We have to wait for the place to empty. And the piper. Performs here. The bard? <laughs> Dandelion? <laughs> How the heck is he transporting people anywhere? Dandelion the Liberator. It's interesting because I think this actor actually voiced um, Maybe that's all the witcher that recruits Vesemir in, in Nightmare <laughs> of the Wolf. Can't recall his name, but. What Where is were you for planning? Inside the city walls for a while. But that narrows off. He's not mad. Is he talking to the bird? More malleable. Distrustful. In all the right way. Does he have a spine syndrome? You. Come with me. Oh. That's serious friend from season one. He can't be the spy. Why why would he? What did you hide? Please tell me you lost a bet. Is that a flower in your head? Yeah. And she wants to dress up. They're making fun of her for dressing up. <laughs> what should it act? Oh, rags. Keep her bruised as an apple. That is when she isn't washing piss pots or your trousers. Does she even have a chemise? Or skirt? Oh, you're muted. That's why you don't <laughs> they deserve a spanking, so. But the truth is. But to be fair, they have no idea how to raise a little girl. So there's that bit. Yeah, Kanante was a badass, although. Apparently she did some shady stuff, killing off, killing all the elves. So, yeah, there you yeah, can't leave that bit out. How did two different monsters wind up with the same dust on them? They came from the same place. A monolith. It doesn't make sense. Come on, now's not the time to be coy. She made it. Chaos belongs to us. There is only death. Are you? Seems like you blacked out. And that's when the monolith cracked and fell. What does that have to do with the monsters, though? I don't really understand what the relevance of the monolith oh, is to the story. Still no love for each other, I see. Hugger. <laughs> Mr. Days was my biggest problem with an ever-present sink on each twit. I am not having this conversation unless I'm drunk. Piper. 
What? No. Yes. No. How do you know that name? Did you pick up a thing or two when you were in hiding? Where's your partner? Oh, Jennifer. I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. Mm, not why. I imagine she's not going to tell him the truth. She's a friendship with your father. Let every free thinker was welcome, no matter their race, their creed. They come for the elves, Yennefer. And sooner or later, they will come for whatever. Yeah, the guy who burned all of... Who killed the people in Sintra. Yeah, yeah, great guy. I have a I friend guess. who studies monolith. He doesn't know him. He hates portals. Portals are no fun. Oh, <laughs> this friend. Stay back. Interesting. I don't think they know they have Yennefer in common, but he knows Yennefer is alive. That that's going to be quite an interesting conversation. I like that Istrid has moved on from Yennefer. I want them to do the same with Triss. He still cares for Yennefer, but he's not sticking it's around and, and, and chasing after her, you know? You he's finding his own meaning and doing his own I'm thing. I do what I do best. And what's that? Talk. Oh, I never really know. That's why I'm so good at it. Sure, he's not going to be able to get all those people on there. Excuse me. I thought he had some sort of deal with someone on the ship or something. They just sneaks them on. Oh, thanks for the tunes, my niece. Just loves it. <laughs> Although, <sighs> if you don't mind me saying so, that one, it's uh, not your <laughs> Just take the oh, criticism. Yeah. Come on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, throwing a bit of shade on season one. When the loop player ends up with a warrior lady. Lovable, Seems lovable. unrealistic, you know? <laughs> does, does that really happen? Didn't really ring true. <laughs> Thank you. No, no. If you could write yourself a little song, you could sing yourself whatever you please. Oh, you had to go and ruin it. <laughs> a crawling feculence, a beef with Oh, not getting on the ship now. Why, Yasuke? Why? What did you say? Oh, he's sacrificing himself. Oh well, you yeah. know. Finally, doing a a good deed. Being brave. That man would be proud. Hmm, these are the flowers that only grew where elven blood is spilt, isn't it? Crazy. Tell me what I'm looking at here. Anyway, hmm. this only grows where elder blood is being spilt. Where did you find this? Everywhere. I'm oh, Siri. Mm. What? No. To making more witches. How would anyone agree to do that? You know, I, I don't think Triss would agree to do that. And why on earth is Vesemir even suggesting that? that... Right, it appears Dara's aspire for Dijkstra. I just don't understand why he would be. 
conflict with long life, you'll have to be more specific. Chaos is the darkness. I'm not one of those bits of life. You know, and being lonely, how are hungry as GD meant to put. All fair. And accurate. people's shoes. Even if they are, in your case, large, clunky, and. <laughs> Chaos could never be part of the life of you. Yennefer, oh, Venyefer. Probably not a good idea to be seeing her name out loud on a boat full of strangers. Alright, episode 4 of The Witcher. Um, a, another interesting episode. Of course, we have Yaskir back in the mix. Um, you know, uh, halfway through the season before we, we uh, before he's back in the story. Uh, and then taken out quite literally at the end. I don't imagine he's dead. I'm not sure who would have taken him. To have the interest in him to take him. Unless they suspect that he is a sandpiper. Um, in which case he could be in some real trouble um but yeah um Kim Morhen. we're back at Kim Morhen and Tris has finally arrived there and I'll say it again okay I'll say it again right um I do hope they do Tris or Tris is written a lot better here than she is in the the novels and the game I trust that the writers will do a, a lot better, a, a much better job because they've done that with with um, with Yennefer, um, and I like I personally like her more than I did having you know from the games because I hated Yennefer in the games, but I love her here despite questionable choices here. Um, so I do hope they do the same with Triss. I just don't have her pining after girl the entirety of the the series. Um, I like how they did Istrid in that yeah he liked um he loved Yennefer as well and I think she loved him initially he he loved her before she obtained power and to be honest in my mind I think he's a much you know that gives him credibility to to be a better fit with Yennefer than Geralt is I know they're gonna do the whole Geralt and Yennefer is destined to be together thing but you know they really aren't and and um the circumstance of them coming together has not so far felt organic to me and maybe that is the point but again we'll see how this entirety of their relationship wraps up eventually um but as i said where girls and jennifer's relationship is concerned i didn't feel that we got enough for me to see them together as a as a couple I, I i feel as though the actors have chemistry but in season one i just saw them meet a, a few quick banters back and forth they slept together and then the next episode we, we were just told that they've had history you know um and and i i, I dislike that they did that with tris here as well where we're not we're now being told that she's visited care more before and you know, Vesemir invited her there after she after what she did with Geralt. I, I, I imagine all that happened during a time skip in season one. But I wanted to see that, or at least some glimpses of it or something. But, you know, unfortunately not. But yes, as I was saying, I like what they did with Istrid in that they didn't force him to keep pining after Yennefer. Yennefer came back to him, actually, in season one, and he flat out told her, no you know um because she hadn't changed to be to be fair she was the same person that was such um thirsting for power and just looking for another um another way to to kind of dull or fill that void that empty void that she's been looking for so it's just rightly moved on from her and i hope they do the same with tris um she made an attempt here in this episode and girl made it clear no he can't give her what she wants or what he thinks she deserves 
Um, yeah, even with him thinking that Yennefer is dead, you know, which, yeah, it is it is what it is. I, I hope she just takes that to heart and just leaves. Don't, don't stick around. I, want, I still want to see more Triss, but I don't want that to be revolved. I don't want that to revolve around Geralt and for her to just be the ex-girlfriend that's sticking around and, and waiting for her chance. I, I don't want that for Triss. I hope they do Triss a lot better than that because she does deserve better than that um yeah so they we got i guess some more information about the monsters that were drawn to siri and you know the thing that they have in common being the monolith i'm not sure i understand what the consequence of siri destroying the monolith was and how that aligns with these monsters what exactly is the monolith and why did it create these monsters? Did did it release these monsters somehow since Geralt didn't re even recognize one of them? I, I'm just not clear on what that is supposed to be. And they didn't do a particularly good job of explaining that in this episode. So I may have to just do some research on my own and figure out what that is, how it somehow created this monster that, you know, the Witchers don't recognize. Um, and, and then there was the interesting drop there with um with Vesemir suggesting that you know fate has given them a way to create more witchers i would have thought he would have learned his lesson from declan in nightmare of the wolf why on earth would he want to do this you know um create more witchers after what happened uh, with the sacking of kirmoyan uh, it's it, it's just surprising me that that Vesemir would even suggest such a thing you know um yeah just, I, I don't see I don't see Triss agreeing to such a thing and putting kids through that torturous trial to, to become witchers. So I doubt very much she'll do that. And I don't know any mages that would want... I can't see any mage wanting to agree to create more witchers, which aren't exactly allies to them. I, again, especially not after what happened at Kier Morin. And I don't see any of the kingdoms supporting such a thing. So it's just... Yeah, it, it's, it just came far out of you know left field i'm like how did best suggest such a thing especially after what happened to him um and yes the the, yeah, the declan the, the actor that's playing dixter i think he voiced declan if i'm not mistaken um in, in nightmare of the wolf it, interesting to see him play dixter because dixter is a conniving <laughs> a, quite the conniving character who's always deceiving someone so even the king that he's propping up to try to attack and, and take Sintra, I think he's doing, he, I think he has his own motives for doing that. And the owl that was in the room um, that he looked at is the same owl that he was speaking to at the end there. So he's using that owl to spy on the king, but clearly he's conversing with someone else through that owl. I suspect it's someone from, from Aratusa. I don't know why. <laughs> But I suspect it's someone from Aratusa. Um, hmm. I don't think it's it's Vilgaforth, but I can bet that it's it, it's Stregobor. <laughs> I bet anything that it's Stregobor. Um, yeah, but the the elves do have it. I, I quite they have it quite terribly right now. They do. Um, kudos to the guy at the end there for sacrificing himself so the elves could escape. Uh, I still don't know what Yennefer's play is. Um, you know, aligning herself with uh, with with Nilfgaard. I get. I figure to to get her powers back somehow, and it just goes back to why I I simultaneously love her but disagree with all of her choices so far because, despite the small acts of kindness that she keeps performing along the way, her decisions ripple in effect and you know have terrible consequences and it just doesn't make up for all of the stuff that she ends up doing and the message that she ends up finding herself in so even in this episode when she's cursing you know saying that you know all these things that she's obtained being taken away from her it's like you made those decisions to have them taken away from you no one took them you know she's making these choices and, and that's what frustrates me about the character um, i was not you know they issued some wanted posters for, for both her and the white flame guy um 
And I'm not surprised, you know, because she just gave Strega more, more power in the council and, and, and screwed to say over. So I am upset with her. Um, and, and she looked shocked when she saw the wanted poster, but I wasn't shocked. I mean, what did you expect to happen? You branded yourself a traitor. If you didn't want to kill the guy, say you didn't want to kill him. I think to say I would have ensured you were safe or at least escaped if they still try if they try to harm her and to be fair if she's not a spy she doesn't have to stay at artuza she could just leave she could just leave artuza she how is she going to spy on them if she's not there you know there was an easy solution in that in that scenario so she didn't need to ride away with the murderer right um she didn't have to save him she could have just left and leave him there they would have had no reason to chase after her um once she has left, she's she can't spy on them to, to get any secrets. So she, her decision has frustrated me. Um, yeah, and and I, I guess we'll see. I might, as I said before, I imagine what eventually is going to happen is that she's going to get to um, Kira Morhen. So she's going to end up at Kira Morhen somehow, or um, Geralt is going to find her with Istrid's help. And that should be an interesting conversation between Istrid and Geralt. Um, I don't think Yennefer has ever told the other, you know, have told them about each other, um, but that will probably come up in conversation. Um, and whether, I, I think Istrid will still help him, if only for the work, you know, not for, for personal reasons, but if only because of his fascination with the monolith and, and learning more about Syria and so on. But I don't know whether Istrid won't communicate that information to um, Nilfgaard because he is still working you know with Nilfgaard so I'm, I'm or at least he, I guess he wasn't working with them he was just working in their territory but at the same time you know he has no love for Artuza or anyone any, he has no allegiance to any of them for that matter so I don't know if it would be a good idea to trust him with that information um, not because I think he's a bad person but because you know he has no connection with Siri or any reason to want to protect her, especially given how dangerous she actually is. Um, so that that conversation with Geralt should be an um, should be an interesting one. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, guys, um, be sure to post down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this episode of The Witcher. Remember to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.